Hello YouTube viewers and random Robot Wars fans, today I'm going to be talking about these, which are the Robot Wars Minibots. And uh, obviously there were a large amount of them released over the years, so it's impossible for me to review all of them in just one video. So I'm going to split it up into a series of videos and uh, focus on some different ones as we go along. So as you can see, in this video I've decided to focus on the House Robots. Now all the House Robots were released from the show as Minibots, apart from Mr. Psycho, Growler and Cassius Crow. And unfortunately, I didn't keep any of the packaging, which is strange, considering it's me and I keep everything. Um, but I didn't keep any of the packaging, but being the tried and true reviewer that I am, I went and did my research. So as you can see, here are some images of the various packages, that uh, the two variant packages, really, that uh, the Minibots came in. So as you can see, they're kind of hexagonal shaped with a little card at the top that told you what it was. And uh, you can see there are three Minibots that come in the pack. And the actual pack itself is designed to look like the top section of the arena. And uh, you got, obviously, three just random Minibots in the pack. So isn't that amazing? But anyway, enough about that. Let's move on and talk about these little Minibots bots themselves. So first up, here we have Mini Sir Kill a Lot, and do you know something for the size of these things? Because they are incredibly small, as you can see by the um, comparison to my hands here. Uh, the detail is quite cool. I mean, if you look there, you, like you've got his little eyes are detailed quite well, his little face mask, even his little chest plate's been detailed there too. And again, on his arms as well, you can see the little sort of sections there for his pincer, and um, you know, even on the back here, you can see that sort of upturned shopping trolley sort of um, cage design across his back. Even his little tracks there have been detailed really nicely too and uh, around the other side as well so um, really quite impressive for uh, the size of it. And uh, moving on to our next house robot which is uh, little Matilda here. As you can see again detailed very very well. Um, you can sort of see the little design there um, around her sort of top section here because of course she's uh, designed to look like a kind of triceratops. Uh, you can see her, her wheels been detailed there too and uh, she's obviously the um, series 1 to 4 version of Matilda because of the chainsaw at the back instead of the flywheel and um, you know like detail wise really quite cool and her little tusks kind of lift up a millimetre but uh, well not even a millimetre but uh, that's kind of Matilda uh, here we have Sergeant Bash, who I'm particularly impressed with because, as you can see, they've got the little sort of pincers at the front. Uh, Sergeant Bash written there, um, the little sort of stripe down at the bottom, his little army stripes here, the little saw at the back, and uh, the flamethrower at the top, which has been detailed really nicely. And this actually spins the full 360, yes it does, without breaking off. So uh, that's quite cool, and I really do like that. This is Shunt, which um, is basically just kind of a molded chassis, really. It uh, doesn't really do much. But again, you know, as far as detail is concerned, if you can see there, like on his scoops detail there, the little sort of scratches and dents, even on his little sort of Shunt section at the back too, his little uh, smoke pipe here, which is kind of wobbly and a little bit loose. Unfortunately, his axe doesn't move and it has been painted to look different and you know there's no kind of definition that you know there should be an axe there because of course this top section should be split in half to allow the axe to come over so um, you know but apart from that you know it, it looks okay I suppose uh, this is dead metal obviously and I really do like with this one here because obviously there's three little wheels underneath I like how they've disguised the wheel here as the little circular saw on the front you know the pincers don't open or anything but uh, you know, detail-wise it is quite cool. You can even kind of sort of see there that um, they've designed it so that this sort of section is has moved forward as though his uh, saw has actually come out and over. So, uh, you know, attention to detail really has been paid. And finally we come to RefBot. And as you can see, RefBot is following the rest of them. Detailed really, really well. I don't think his head really turns, but uh, his arms do move up and down. Uh, you can see there the little sort of design there, that sort of referee's white and black stripes there. Um, and, you know, like, pretty much, there's not really much I can say about these uh, minibots, but uh, the detail is quite striking just for the size of them. Even a the little fire extinguisher they've got on the back there. So that's RefBot. As far as features go, well, they don't really offer much, but again, that's, of course, uh, due to their size. Um, I mean, like you've probably seen earlier whenever I was showing them off, like Sir Kill a lot uh, can move his uh, little arm sort of sections there. Uh, Sergeant Bash can move his turret. And then, you know, you've got other ones like Shunt, for example, who doesn't really have any really particular motion. But one thing I do love about them all is that underneath here, they all have these little pullback, these tiny little pullback um, sort of 
sections to them, which is really, really cool. And uh, for all the size of them, it's really awesome to pull them back and watch them fly because they really do go at some speed. It's quite impressive. Uh, let me see if I can just make some room here. You know, like, you can actually send them flying, so um, that's really, really nice, and uh, I do like that. Just to give you guys a sense of scale, I've uh, put the little mini-bots here next to their respective pullback counterparts here. So you can really see the difference in size, and, uh, you know, I do much prefer the pullbacks over the mini-bots, just because, you know, there's um, more features and more detail in them. But, uh, you know, having said that, the little mini-bots are still pretty cool as well. What do I think of these little things? Well, they're they're okay, I suppose. I mean, you know, don't get me wrong, I do like them. It's um, just a case of, you know, as far as features go, they don't really have a lot to offer. I mean, like, sure, kill a lot, and Rathbot's arms can move and stuff, and uh, uh, Sergeant Bash's turret can spin, but, you know, they don't really kind of do anything. They're just sort of there. But, uh, you know, having said that, it, it is because of their size, obviously. Their size does limit them to uh, what they can actually do. Uh, the little pullback feature is absolutely excellent. I really do love that um, for something so small. And, of course, the fact that they are made from actual metal adds kind of to that sort of factor as well. So, I suppose, all in all, the only reason why I kind of like these is for the little novelty factor. Because, I mean, it's awesome to have a little mini kill a lot or, you know, a little mini ref bot. That's kind of fun. But, uh, of course, the real reason why um, Logistics decided to bring out this line of toy is uh, because originally they wanted to build an, an arena for the uh, larger pullback toys. But uh, it, it wouldn't have been too cost effective. So they decided to make these tiny little mini robots and uh, build a mini bot arena. So that's pretty much the only reason why uh, they decided to do that. But, um, yeah, I'd, I'd say they're pretty cool. Uh, definitely if you are a die-hard Robot Wars fan, then definitely get your hands on them. But, uh, you know, for the novelty factor, they really are awesome. And uh, for their size, the detail is excellent. So that pretty much wraps things up. Thanks very much for watching this review. There's um, loads more reviews of the Minibots still to come, so uh, stay tuned. Thank you very much for watching, and keep following the nerd. Bye-bye. <laughs>